But just very, very quickly, a quick intro. Now, cancelling beliefs is one of the most powerful things. I've had people, yeah, people come here with all kinds of illnesses and do cancelling beliefs, and they, you know, things have cleared. It's very, very powerful, even though it sounds very, very simplistic. And uh, it has a very, very high uh, vibration to it. So, you see, you're, one is refuting, one is refuting the limited ideas of this world, yeah? You are refuting the, them as if they never existed. You know, I, I, this is, I'm, I'm just telling you how I do. Like, this whole world of insanity and separation, this hellish world of all kinds of crazy stuff, it doesn't exist. It only exists because you allow it to exist. You have given it reality. And what you give reality to, you can take it away. You know, you have the power to cancel stuff. You know, own your power. You know, your source is infinite. You know, there's an infinite source of power and love, a wellspring of infinite power. But to the extent you give your power away to limited ideas and limited illusions within this world, you also enter into the joint illus illusory suffering of this world. But you can cancel it. But if, when you cancel something and you want to believe it as well, it's going to be less effective. Because you're going to be like, I cancelled this, but it's real. You know, I don't do it that way. Like, I cancel it like I cancel it. I don't want to suffer this any longer. It doesn't exist for me. So own your power when you cancel, like cancel, you know, I, I, can't, I want to get rid of this shit. I don't want to be in limitation anymore. So own your cancel, you have the power to cancel. Don't, like, don't be a Mickey Mouse when you're canceling, like I cancel it but it's real. Uh, that means you're I want to be free but I want to keep my suffering. You know, so that's like, a, that's, going to be, that's going to take you longer to clear this crap. Then after you cancel it, I am an infinite being. I am infinite in my being. Yeah? Own, own the truth. You're not limited. Your true nature. And, you know, I'm not trying to indoctrinate you. You must have had experience. You must have experienced yourself being in the infinite, eternal, timeless now. You guys must know what I'm talking about. When you're not limited to your body, to your thoughts, there's like a timeless beauty a limitless witnessing, a wonder that opens up and you're in your true self, that infinite timeless stillness and joy and there's no trace of limitation, time or separation exists. That's your truth, you know that, everybody knows that. And then you, you get sucked into this limited nightmarish self. So own your, restate, I am an infinite being and I'm only subject, I can only be limited by, you know, I'm only subject, uh, what is it, I cancel my belief in whatever, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I'm only subject to the limited ideas, to what I hold in mind. Any limited concept or belief I hold in mind, I will suffer that, you know. And if I hold nothing in mind, I'm in the infinite. But to the extent I'm holding limited ideas, I will not be in the infinite. That's quite, is that simple? Can I just ask a yeah, yeah. So cancelling beliefs are saying it's forgiveness or forgiveness. Um, or is it just another way of saying yeah, You can let go of things through forgiveness. I mean, forgiveness often has the connotation of I forgive you, you know. Whereas uh, everything has a different vibration and a different ability to clear things faster or more slowly. Like if I refute giving power to the world, it's quite powerful. If I presuppose in the way I release the world, give it some reality, it may, it may still be fast, or it may, to the extent that I'm buying into limited ideas, it may be slower. Does that make sense? So, but yes, forgiveness is a very powerful clearing method as well. But, uh, but uh, it does, often I often associate it with, uh, there's a me, so of course some Rickles talks about this, like the idea that there's a me forgiving a you, but later on you realize that, that it didn't need to happen. It doesn't exist. It's part of an illusion that there is a me and there is a you and that there needs to be forgiveness between me and you. It's a ludicrous idea at a later, a later stage. 
once you start to realise that there is only one. So you, you're free of that limited concept. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's uh, introduction.